It's midnight. I just got back from watching Men in Black International and it... No, I'm not gonna say it was okay. Ugh, it, it was just there, I guess. Thank God I didn't pay a lot of money for this. Let me just get through the positives and don't worry, the, short, the list is short. Uh, Crims Hensworth, Tessa Thompson, Camille, I forgot his last name, and Liam Neeson are all amazing in this movie. They really have a lot of good chemistry. I mean, obviously with Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, they've worked together with, in Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Endgame. So they really do have a good chemistry together and it still goes through here. But the problem is that they don't have anything good to go with. Like there's no good story, there's no good jokes. Nothing really flows or nothing really makes any sense. Honestly, after I got out of the movie, I was just talking with my friends about The Society on Netflix and for some weird reason, that got me more excited to talk about like something in, in some different medium than than the freaking movie I just got off scene. Uh, and Men in Black is something I kind of grew up on and uh, the first two I really enjoyed because well the first one's amazing and the, uh, the second one I grew up on. The third one was alright and this one I wish I could like it. Honestly I want to like it. Having Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson together should be like the big markability in this whole film but it just really wasn't and it kind of sucks and oh my dude is that what my hair looks like yeah i don't know i'm self-conscious i don't i don't really care it, it didn't really bring anything new to the franchise the effects look really bad in the aliens the story was very a mess why does the movie start in a flashback in 2016 and then to another flashback in 1986 and then go back to the present it didn't make any sense. I was a little confused. This is just, it, it's just a mess of a movie and it kind of made me a little bit frustrated. Honestly, I wish I'd gone to see Godzilla, but that, not right now I'm all ranting. But yeah, I just wanted to make a really quick hot take on this film. I'd had a little few issues with it. A lot of issues with it. The parts that were funny were pretty good. And then above all else, it was just fine. Four out of 10, it's just, it's fine. Like, honestly, it's a movie I would recommend if you find it on rental or on DVR, but it's not something I would like highly go sought after and see right now. Uh, which sucks, so I kind of wish there was an, I wish there was a film with Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson playing these roles, but with a better script or a better story, or at least something where they interact for a few minutes with, the, with Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones to pass the torch. I think that was another problem with this film is that you don't understand what happened to those guys in this in this series, but they do have connections obviously, but it's whatever. That's Men in Black International. Watch it. Actually don't watch it. I, I don't know what I'm doing.